Howdy, Poda folks. Kilo Echo Zero, Victor, India Mike, the traveling ham. You know, when people start talking about visiting large national parks, everyone's got the same big complaint, the huge crowds. We're in Yellowstone National Park today. We're gonna go see one of the best geysers in the park, and I bet you we'll be all alone. Let's go have some fun with Ham Radio. <laughs> Ridiculous. Fair danger in this stretch, not too high, not too high at all. Lots of people up to the overlook. That's pretty cool, all the colors and the steam coming off Grand Prismatic Spring right up there. We now made the turn off for Ferry Falls. Traffic has dropped down quite a bit. This is when we're gonna need to uh, start keeping our eyes peeled. Animal activity's been really high and our odds are going up as we get farther down the trail and this is where we gotta start paying attention. Now we're heading up this way. We're gonna be uh, close to alone on this trail the rest of the way to Imperial Geyser. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Look at those colors. I'll show you the setup here I got done real quick. Uh, it's obviously very, very windy. So I've got the 17-foot the whip up in this tree. It's just blowing the whip into the tree. And then we're running down. We're gonna sit and operate right there where we can keep an eye on the geyser. I'm gonna go on 20 meters. Here we go. Ah, oh, dang, this wind. Holy crap, this is a pain. This is one of my cooler spots. 
but that was a rough operation. <laughs> it's hard managing all this going on. The wind, the key, the notepad, holy mackerel. Geyser's putting on a little bit of a show, not as strong as what I remembered seeing when we were here three years ago. But still, you can see the, the crowd here is a lot less. Uh, we're at a lot busier time of the year than we were here in August last year. It's Kilo Echo Zero, Victor India Mike the Traveling Ham from Imperial Geyser, Yellowstone National Park, 7-3.